Hi everybody. May you be blessed in the land of the living. Today, our topic is the power of gratitude. The power of gratitude. As a child of God, have you said thank you today to somebody? Have you prayed and said, Father, thank you for giving me life? I'm going to tell you benefits of giving God thanks. Gratitude glorifies God. This alone would be reason to give thanks to God. Our gratitude glorifies God as we exalt not the gifts, but the giver. Gratitude helps us realize all we have comes not because of us, but from God. And as God's grace reaches more and more, more people, there will be great thanksgiving and God will receive more and more glory. Corinthians chapter 4 verse 15. Gratitude helps us see God. It opens our spiritual eyes. There is a beautiful circle in giving God thanks. The more we thank Him, the more we see Him walking in us and around us. Gratitude helps us sense God's presence, His personal care, and His perfect timing. Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights. James chapter 1, 16 to 17. Gratitude puts us squarely in God's will. We often make God's will out to be some big mystical plan when sometimes it's simply obedience. And part of His will for us is to be thankful, not just on the sunny days, but on the hard ones as well. Gratitude brings peace. Count your blessings. Not sheep, we are told to get rid of the worry, keeping us up at night. Gratitude helps us see that God's hand is all over our circumstances. And God tells us when we give Him our thanks, He gives us supernatural peace. The book of Philippians 4, 6, 7 says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which translates all understanding, will guide your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Gratitude draws us to God. Gratitude for the magnitude of God's underserved kindness draws us to him we see that when jesus healed ten lepers as jesus walked by all ten cried out for healing go show yourself to the priest jesus commanded and as they went they were healed fingers were restored and ulcers disappeared as full sensation returned to their faces and limbs Certainly, they were all happy, but only one was thankful. Only one came back to Jesus, fell at his feet, and thanked him. Jesus asks, Where are the nine? Has no one returned to give praises to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Luke chapter 17, verses 17 to 19. Gratitude brings contentment. It's said that gratitude makes what we have enough. If we aren't grateful for what God has given us, getting more won't satisfy us either. Being thankful is the key to contentment. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 6 from 6 to 8 says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world, 
and neither can we carry anything out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with this. Gratitude deepens faith. Keeping a record of God's past faithfulness is faith boost when we face new difficulty. My gratitude and my testimonies is always with God. God records our faithfulness. That is why God commanded Israel to remember his great deeds. Give thanks to the Lord for his good, his love endures forever. Psalm 136 verse 1. Gratitude leads to joy. The overflow of gratitude is joy. Realizing God's abundant goodness, even in the heart, is a gateway for joy. Psalm 126 shows this is clearly as the Hebrew Hazel sang, sang their thanks to God for bringing them back to Israel. It's a psalm I prayed in advance for years. When the Lord restored the futures of the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. Psalm 126, from verses 1 to 3. Gratitude defies Satan's lies. Satan is so willing. He whispers that God isn't good, that he, he is withholding good from us. But his schemes as old as the Garden of Eden, where he questioned Eve, did God really say, you must not eat from any tree in the garden? When Eve responded only, the tree of good and evil was of limits, Satan suggested God was keeping good from them. You will not certainly die, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. In a garden that was perfect, that produced abundantly without work for weeding, where every single plant but one had been given to Adam and Eve, Satan focused on the lack. Through gratitude for God and the abundance, he gives protectors from carving to the enemy's lies. The book of Psalm 84 verse 11 says, No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Gratitude guides against envy. Envy makes us want what someone else has. I mean, we deserve it. Gratitude makes us realize God has given us far more than we deserve because there is enough for everyone. We can share rather than compare. A heart wholly grateful has no room left of envy. I will give you thanks with all my heart. Psalm 138 verse 1. Gratitude helps us live in the present. Wherever you are, be all there. But that's difficult to do in the worry and rush of life. Gratitude helps, helps us opened our eyes to the simple beauty of ordinary days. It lets us see this day and this moment as gift and to take in the abundance right now. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 10 says, Say not, why we are the former days better than these? For it is not from wisdom that you ask this. Gratitude is a testimony when we thank God openly and acknowledge what He has done for us, we proclaim a personal, caring God to the world around us. We show that contentment and peace come not from what we have, but who we know. Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim His greatness. Let the whole world know what He has done. Psalm 105, verse 1. Developing a grateful heart brings incredible blessing. So, always be thankful to God. Thank God for everything He has done in your life. 
Thank God for making you to be alive today. Always pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.